Today we are going to learn about understanding percentages. When we talk about percentages, generally we refer to a number that tells us how much out of 100. For example, imagine that we draw a big square. Now, let's divide this big square into 100 little squares. Now we have 100 little squares. Now, suppose we paint red 50 little squares out of 100. What percentage of little squares have been painted red? Remember, we have 100 little squares and we have only painted 50. You are right. 50% of the little squares are painted red. Let's try another example. Suppose now, we paint only 25 little squares. What percentage of little squares have been painted? You are right again. The answer is 25%. We have painted 25% of all the squares. And what if we paint 5? What percentage of little squares have been painted? That's right. The answer is 5%. 5% of little squares are red now. Now imagine that we paint all the 100 little squares. What percentage of little squares are painted? That's right, 100%. Imagine that we draw a rectangle. And we want to paint 30% of this rectangle blue and 70% red. How do we do that? We know that this entire rectangle represents 100%. That means that if we want to paint 100% of this rectangle blue, we paint the entire rectangle. Now, suppose we divide the rectangle into 10 equal parts. Each of these parts is 10% of the entire rectangle. Because 100% divided by 10 equal parts gives us 10% for each part. Now, if we want 30% of our rectangle to be painted blue, we only have to paint three parts blue. And if we want 70% to be painted red, we paint the remaining seven parts red. Let's try another example. Suppose that we draw another rectangle. And we want to paint 60% of this rectangle red and 40% blue. How do we do that? We know that this entire rectangle represents 100%. That means that if we want to paint 100% of this rectangle red, we paint the entire rectangle. Now, suppose we divide the rectangle into five equal parts. Each of these parts represents 20% of the entire rectangle. Because 100% divided by five equal parts gives us 20% for each part. Now, if we want 60% of our rectangle to be painted red, we only have to paint three parts red. And if we want 40% to be painted blue, we paint the remaining two parts blue. Let's try another example. 
Suppose your teacher asks you to paint 50% of the following circle orange. We know that this entire circle represents 100%. What you can do is divide the circle into two equal parts. Each part represents 50%. Because 100% divided by two equal parts gives us 50% for each part. Now, if you want to paint 50% of the circle orange, you only have to paint one part of two. Let's paint the one on the left. Let's try another example. Suppose a friend of yours asks you to paint 25% of the following circle yellow. How would you do it? You know that this entire circle represents 100%. What you can do is divide the circle into four equal parts. Each part represents 25%. Because 100% divided by four equal parts gives us 25% for each part. Now, if you want to paint 25% of your friend's circle yellow, you only have to paint one part yellow. In this way. Let's try another example. Imagine you draw a circle. And you want to paint three quarters of this circle green and one quarter black. What you have to do is divide the circle into four equal parts. If you want to paint three quarters green, you paint three parts of four. And if you want to paint one quarter black, you paint one part of four black. This is how it would look. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.